Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how to change the username and password and configuration and some technical details about the one of the hardware router. And this router is uh, this router is ZTE F670L model. This is ZTE F670L model. Let's see the configuration and uh, uh, details about this uh, router. This router is dual band router. Mainly, you have to check some of the lights in the router. Uh, when power supply is connected, power light will come. And one more thing, uh, you have to cross verify the router back side. You can see one amps, and the adapter also it should be one amps. Then the connections should be stable. If different amps is there, means in the both router and adapter you will face frequent disconnect issues and another main thing you have to check palm light see if you if fiber optic cable is connected properly the palm light will come in green if you disconnect it will come in red so some somewhere the fiber optic cable is damaged or not connected properly uh, you will get in red color at the time you have to check and you have to raise the uh, support case for the issue and another thing you have to check internet light if internet light is coming your account is active state and internet will work properly and also if you connected lan lan light will come and wi-fi light is green means you are able to connect the wi-fi they these are the main uh, lights or things we have to observe in the router let's start the configuration about this router uh, so as of now I have not connected uh, any cable, uh, opti fiber optic cable is not connected for this router. So without this uh, fiber optic cable also we can uh, uh, make a configuration for this router and we can do whatever configuration changes we can we can able to do. Suppose you have forgot everything like a username, password, you have, uh, you don't know anything about this router. So at the time uh, you need you, you if you wanted to change the complete default things so here you can see there is a reset wall reset uh, wall is there so at the time you have to take one pin or uh, some sharp kind of thing pen tube or something it has to fit in this uh, in this uh, reset wall so just take that and see here the lights uh, what are the lights you are coming for pawn and the wi-fi light all the things are coming just press and hold so once if it's once if it is pressed you should not leave once it's pressed you should not leave until 10 seconds so then only the complete reset will happen so 10 seconds you should not leave okay so i think uh, we can leave now so once you leave the wi-fi and whatever the if you are uh, connected uh, fiber optic cable the fan light will come and the internet will come all the lights will come together so let's wait for the wi-fi light to come and we'll show the configuration now so see it started uh, getting uh, uh, fiber optic uh, signal it's because the cable is not connected fiber optic cable is not connected that is the reason we are getting loss and the wi-fi wi-fi suppose uh, the wi-fi light is not coming so at the time we have so you will you will get to know why wi-fi light is so here we can see one wi-fi option so if you press this the wi-fi light will come see wi-fi is coming if you unpress it will it will go that is our reason uh, let's try to connect now so here we can see say uh, there are 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz there's a different two ssids here you can see right two different ssids we can connect uh, 2.4 gigahertz also we can connect 5 gigahertz also so in the if you are in the near to router the 5 gigahertz will connect it will work more faster if you are far if you are away to router you can connect to 2.4 gigahertz suppose it has to happen both uh, automatically it has to happen then we can that is also we can make it uh, one ssid for 
5 gigahertz that is also we can make it let's see the uh, let's try to connect the router now see uh, uh, let's uh, try to I am trying to connect in the laptop so uh, let's see so I am now connected with a different router see here uh, we can see for now it's showing only 2.4 gigahertz v4 last at the end v4 is there there also you can see v4 so let's try to connect and the password is here up here you can see the password uh, e e2 ugba so that is a password so once you enter the password just try to connect uh, both uh, like in the laptop or uh, uh, if you are doing in the mobile phone uh, in the in the chrome easily both are the same you just need to connect the wi-fi uh, once you connected i uh, will show you the next steps so it's it's connecting now so see it's connected now but it's showing no internet because the internet cable is not connected now here type enter the uh, default router IP that is 192.168.1.1 once you enter the login page will come like this so the username and password as I told the username is uh, uh, admin and password is MAC address the router backside it will be there without a hyphen you should enter and the the default router IP is 192.168.1.1 so enter the username as admin and password as MAC address and uh, enter this CAPTCHA code uh, XM. once you log in so done it's logged in so as of now the username is uh, 2.4 gigahertz 35 the default username you have and it is a see here if you go to this is a it's in 5 gigahertz band now so and this is a default one they have configured so let's uh, configure now uh, so as I told uh, for the both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz if you want to use it in the same SSID suppose if you are near to router it has to connect 5 GHz and if, if you are far to far to router it has to connect 2.4 GHz to avoid disruption so we can configure that also so go to network once you go to network go to 2.4 GHz and go to SSID settings here you have to choose this is a main important thing in this router you have to choose SSID 3 once you choose SSID 3 it has to enable here you can see 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz automatically uh, we should we can take it this so it just make it as 5 gigahertz 2.4 and 5 gigahertz both both in the SSID 3 we can enable it and if this is I enter the password uh, I will give 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and uh, submit confirm now it will automatically change its change the username if you are using in mobile so if you are not disconnected so just it will go now so just disconnect or turn off wi-fi and turn on see here now see 
this is already is there so one previous one that is default one and now what we have changed right ssid 3 that is for both for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz let me connect for this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 connect right it will take some time see it's connected now to find 4 gigahertz and just try to log in the same route it's already logged in so it is not logged out so the same way if you want to choose uh, if you want to configure 5 gigahertz also go to ssid settings and uh, you can give any ssid here because see here ssid 5 is grayed out already is enabled it's a 5g and and 2.4 gigahertz both it has uh, the configuration we have taken in ssid 3 that is the reason it is grayed out now you can choose any different ssid and enable ssid and you can give any name and uh, you can enter password any day anything if you want you can enter the password and sub once you submit it will keep, it will configure the 5 gigahertz uh, uh, in wi-fi so suppose uh, in the some uh, uh, cctvs it will not support 5 gigahertz at, at the time we have to configure only uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, other than this um, ssid 3 you can choose uh, ssid 1 and enable and if you uh, if you try to uh, give this 2.4 gigahertz 2.4 gigahertz and enter username and uh, uh, password and if you submit it will automatically come the uh, it will show the 2.4 gigahertz uh, with a username and password you have to enter it so this is how the we will usually change the uh, username and password we have so many configuration details how to block the uh, any of the device and uh, we have so many uh, configuration details in this uh, please if you like this video please uh, do subscribe i will uh, show more about this uh, configuration details in next videos uh, thank you thank you so much